Hi guys, Jblade2000, and uh, I got some new cards, some new Vanguard cards, and this deck is probably not going to be as good as some of the other uh, Ancient Dragon decks out there, because, again, uh, I do most of my car uh, trading card shopping online. Um, there aren't really any card game stores near me, so I just have to go with what. I have, and uh, the jobs I have, I'm, I'm going to have to be spending that on tuition and car and those kind of things. So, I don't have as good a dex as I possibly could have, but hey, this deck still works really well and I love it. So, the new Ancient Dragon deck has, drop the card has Ancient Dragon Baby Bird as the starter. He's a forerunner and has 5,000 power, which is better than Dragon Egg. Dragon Egg is a useless booster, but it, it could uh, come back to your hand for great defense. And defense is not an issue with this deck, because you can draw over and over again and get a pretty darn big sized hand that you don't really have to worry about defense. Um, and so this guy's ability is when he goes to the drop zone, uh, give two of your Tache Kaze units 3,000 power. And so you can give the Vanguard uh, 3,000 power and Rear Guard 3,000 power. And some of the cards in this deck can make multiple attacks per turn. And so you can give these um, multiple attackers the power boost and they can attack twice with the power boost, which is nice. Next, we move to the G cards, which I'm still not quite familiar with the G cards and the uh, Legion. I mean, I saw uh, uh, Vanguard G, I saw Legion, I just hadn't played Vanguard. Actually played Vanguard in tournaments for a while. So, this guy is uh, Destructive Equipment, Hammer Gewalt. I wish I had Pearly Titan, I do not. This guy uh, engorges, he just kills something, eats it. Uh, when he engorges, he gains 3,000 power. And uh, when you retire to, uh, two or more rear guards, you can retire an opponent's rear guard. So that's very nice. Get rid of a booster, get rid of an attacker, that sort of thing. Next, we have the engine of the deck, Spino Driver. This guy is a Tanche Kaze Brake Rider. Uh, when you ride something over him, they gain 1,000 power and a critical if... And when you retire two units, you get to uh, draw two cards. So, this guy is really nice. Uh, spinal Driver on top of Spinal Driver is absolutely amazing. Do it if you can. Spinal Driver over Spinal Driver, reuse his ability, he is amazing, um, that combo is amazing, just do it. Next is the Recycler Spinal Commando. This guy recycles Spinal Driver, letting you draw over and over again, which can become a problem. I have actually decked out a few times with this deck, so uh, I have to be careful. This guy has two skills. The first is when your attack is over, um, take a card from your soul, stand it so you get an extra attack, and put Spinal Driver in your hand, which is really nice. So if you have Spinal Driver, ride Spinal Driver, use his skill, ride Spinal Commando, use Spinal Driver's skill, draw two cards. At the end of the turn, You attacked, ride Spinal Driver, Spinal Driver from the soul, put it to hand, you attack again with Spinal Driver, and now you can ride Spinal Driver over Spinal Driver and get uh, 1,000 power and a crit again. So, Spinal Commando is very amazing if you can get him right. This guy actually kind of sucks if he's the only grade 3 you have to ride, and it's the first grade 3 you ride. Now, uh, his second ability is when the turn he is on the Vanguard, uh, he can bring back 
someone who has gone to the drop zone, which is very nice. So you have a column, you have something like a dino crowd, you eat it, you gain power, this guy can bring something back and make a full column for uh, your attack and the turn after. Very good, very, very good combo. Next, for the final grade three, is two magma armor. Uh, Tyranno Quake is better, Legion, but this is all I have. Uh, magma armor, his skill is Soul Blast 1, Retire something. I think it's a Counter Blast. Yes, Counter Blast, Soul Blast, Retire something. Uh, when something goes to the drop zone, uh, bring it back. Also, he has this awesome ability that when there's a card boosting him, when there's a card in the middle uh, column behind this guy, he gains plus 3,000. So if there is any kind of booster behind him, he gets free power, which is very, very nice. And of course, he legions with knight armor. And uh, I only have three knight armor because you can search with legion. Knight armor has a pretty good skill. I never actually used it in an actual game, and it's very annoying to get, like, uh, one knight armor in the drop zone and another one uh, uh, in the damage zone. You just have to be careful with three copies. This guy, uh, if he does end up in the drop zone, you have to put him back as one of the three cards in your deck, and... Um, it gets annoying to not have to put like a critical trigger or a heal back in there, but it does work. His skill is retire something, unflip a damage when his attack goes through, which is nice, I, but I haven't used it. Next is Dino Crowd. Eat something, gain 5,000 power. So he is a very nice attacker. can go to 14,000 on his own. Um... Okay, attacker. Um, Tyranno Bite, I believe, is better. That is the grade 2 version of Guano Gorg. For a counter blast, he comes back. But uh, this guy can activate some of the other skills, like Baby Bird or Hypno Hang. So, this guy's good. Two Beam Inklo because he gains 3000 power. 12k attacker, nice. Two copies of Hypno Hang. He has an ability for only one turn. But um, what he does is when you have a Vanguard with Spino in the name, when he is finished attacking, retire something, stand him back up, and he gains 3,000 power. So depending on your columns and depending on what you have on the field, you can make about five attacks with, if you have Hypno Hang and uh, Spino Commando set up right. And so this guy is really, really good. But I only have him at two copies because this is all I really need. Next for the grade ones, for uh, Triplasma, 10k attacker, nice booster, enough said. Next we have three Tyranno Blaze. Um, this thing's I love his art. Uh, this thing is the Counter Blast Manager. There you go. Now you can see him. Sorry. Uh, this guy's a Counter Blast Manager. He makes Counter Blast active if you have only three damage, which was a problem I faced with my earlier deck, where I had to ride Spinal Driver and there was only uh, something on top of Spinal Driver, or just had Spinal Driver, whatever, and I only had three damage. And it hurt that I couldn't use the skill, and so now I can. Next is Noto Tank uh, for uh, you flip a G unit over. I forget what it's called. A Counter Blast. When this thing retires, another unit that this boosted gets plus 4,000. I never used his ability. He's just kind of in here. Uh, I don't really use his ability, but I probably should. Um, mm, just kind of a card I put in there. Just in case I need his ability. Two of Wanagorg for a counter blast. He comes back from the drop zone. Very nice. And you can reuse him over and over for more attacks with Hypno Hang and uh, Dino Crowd and uh, Spinal Commando. Three Paraswall. Perfect guards. Perfect guards are amazing. I can't stress how important perfect guards are enough. And I only have three perfect guards because I have one copy 
of a rock wall rock mine sorry his name is rock mine and uh, at first I didn't like these cards that flipped cards because there was a propensity to get like two grade threes in a row and um, and your opponent's attack go through um, but now that I've actually used him I actually pretty like this ability where you counter blast instead of having to use from the hand and with this deck it does work because you can get a pretty big hand like I mentioned before with Spinal Co uh, Commando and Driver next I run six crits we have four Dino Dial which uh, if you put him to soul he unflips the damage which is very important in this deck lots of uh, counter blast heavy cards in this deck uh, and two Flame Maiden just for an ancient dragon with the name for counter blasting. Next, we have a sledge anklo. Put him to soul, 3000 power. Very nice, very nice. I run three titano cargo because uh, just for the ancient dragon name. So I run five draws. Two plus three thousands and three regular for the ancient dragon name. And I run for crits, which uh, just heals. I mean, heal. They're heal triggers. I'm sorry. <sighs> anyway, so that was my new and revised. Uh, Ancient Dragon deck. This this deck has a lot of great combos. Uh, and so, let's see. I'm not really sure I can really show you a combo. But this deck has some amazing combos. If you want me to show some combos, I can. Um, I really like this deck. Uh, it's not as good as some of the other ones, but I really like this deck. I would take this deck to a tournament. Um, I have full faith in this deck. I really like it.